the government of Western Equatorial State has embarked on a plan to connect the state capital Yambio to all the counties of Western Equatorial State. In the first place, I would like to begin by giving thanks to the government of the Republic of South Sudan for forming the government of the state and especially Western Equatorial particular. Um, my appointment uh, came in, in February and uh, my swearing in was in March on the 12th of, and today I'm um, eight months in the office. I would like to thank my party Espelen under the, the leadership of General Salfakir Mayardit for appointing me as the Minister of Roads and Bridges in the revitalized government uh, of national unity, Western Equatoria. I also want to appreciate my chair uh, of, of SPLM in Western Equatoria for recommending me to be the Minister of Roads and Bridges in Western Equatoria. I also thank the Governor of Western Equatoria, General Alfred Futio, uh, for the good job that we are doing together in this uh, multi-party system in Western Equatoria State. Uh, indeed, uh, during this uh, all time in the office, uh, we've done a lot of things, especially during this difficult time where there is no uh, funding even from the partners and also from the government. As all of us know, uh, in, in the whole of South Sudan, we only have uh, chapter one and chapter two, which is the, the uh, salary and then the operation cost. Uh, chapter three, which used to be for development, is not there now. But we are trying our level best as government of Western Equatoria and Minister of Roads and Bridges in particular to ensure that we at least make something tangible that our people can see and also that can motivate our staff in the Minister of Roads and Bridges. Uh, number one, uh, when I came here, we hold meeting with all the partners that are supporting uh, feeder roads in Western Equatorial, and we assessed uh, their projects that they are doing in Western Equatorial. And then we happen to get uh, some NGOs who can help us uh, in, in constructing and opening feeder roads to allow our farmers to bring their produce to the market. And then uh, we also uh, established some projects, especially uh, the visit and assessment of bridges in Western Equatoria. We went to uh, Nadangere, we assessed the bridge of Sue, and then we went to Sakure Road, we also assessed the bridge of Yugu uh, on the way to Zara. And then uh, we also uh, assessed some bridges around here uh, on the road to Gangura. And from all this, because we don't have enough funding, uh, we try to lobby with uh, UNMIS. And UNMIS is going to support us with the construction of Yugo Bridge, and also the government of Western Equatoria, under the leadership of the governor, is also supporting the construction of this bridge. Already the first, is, first installment is already paid by the government of Western Equatoria, and that is five million. And the material uh, is already bought by the contractor, and uh, recently, uh, the contractor plus the engineering team from the ministry plus the 
uh, engineering team from the UNMIS, they went to the bridge and uh, they started destroying the old dam, opening the way for the water so that at least uh, uh, the construction of the bridge can kick off. And we are soon expecting the second installment from the government of Western Equatoria again. It's already approved by the Honorable Governor. And now uh, at, at the Revenue Authority, for waiting for the payment. Inshallah, very soon this money will be paid and the construction of Yubu Bridge uh, will kick off very soon. Not only that, we are, we are also running up and down with UNMIS and they said they can support us from the quick impact project. Uh, Sue Bridge, uh, we received also uh, uh, information from USA that they would like to support us in the, in the permanent construction of, of, of Sue. So we are now waiting for them to come and see how we can start. Um, we also received the uh, UNOPS that came from Yuba that they want to help us in construction of the uh, feeder roads in uh, Iba County and also in Ezo County. So these are some of the projects that are in the pipeline right now for the feeder roads in Western Equatorial. In an effort to encourage the staff of the Ministry of Roads and Bridges in Western Equatoria, Minister Antuna managed to buy motorbikes to the directors of the ministry and bicycles to the unclassified staff. For the ministry headquarter here, when I came I found most of my staff are footing. And though they are footing, always early in the morning you'll get them in the office. During this difficult time, the salary is delayed. Salary comes after five, six months, but you find them committed coming to the office and footing. And some of them are staying very far. We also sat and strategized with the director general and then the directors in the ministry. We also managed to get motorcycle to all the directors in the ministry of roads and bridges to motivate them, even if the salary is delaying and also they cannot uh, uh, get anything, like those is not there, at least having the transport can motivate them to come early to the office. And I said the priority, the interest of my staff in the ministry is my priority. I always put the interest of my staff first than my own interest. And I also put the interest of the community first. So with the little thing that we got, uh, I said better let them have motorbikes so that they can uh, move happily and come to their office early. And this will at least motivate them. Uh, my name is uh, Joseph Dominic Darby. I'm the director for Roads and Bridges. I'm really grateful to stand in front of uh, the new motorbikes which were bought by our minister through our government of Western Equatorial State. We really thank uh, the, the state minister for what she has done. And it's the first time for us to see a female minister who have done a great achievement like she, what she has done. So it's really very appreciated. And uh, we have been moving a footing on our leg, coming from far distant almost five kilometer, 10 kilometer to the working place. But uh, when she came, she started uh, seeing us moving footing and so on with the coat footing. She said, no, at least she has to start with the motorbike. And we hope it's better to have a female leader than having a man. Because we have witnessed it several times now. Men have come here more than seven times. We never see, seen any achievement that they have done. But now with this female, she has done great and we are really happy and really highly appreciated. In, uh, in behalf of my colleagues, the other directors, we really appreciate her for what she has done. So uh, I don't have much to say, but at least we appreciate her, let her go ahead with the, what she is doing. And even she has promised that 
not really only the vehicle, the motorbikes. She is also going to look for the vehicles so that we to promote us, so that you feel like a director, not footing, and then they call you a director. That one is not really doing well. It's not good. It's better you feel your position that you are what you are doing is appreciated, and people will see that even this guy is a director, not you foot. They call you director. That one is not really uh, good. We also managed to get some bicycles uh, for our drivers or classify the staff and classify the staff so that it can also help them, especially the messengers and the drivers. So the staff in the ministry are now happy and at least you can see them coming to the office though there is no uh, salary coming in time. Minister Antuna also donated furniture to the administration of Yampio Airport. The support came as a result of her meeting with the staff at the airport recently. Uh, we also went to to airport, which is civil aviation. One of the directors is under Ministry of Road, Transport and Bridges. We also found a lot of challenges. No furniture. It was only benches that were in the airport. And most of the passengers were just standing in the airport when traveling. And even the VIPs have nowhere to sit. But at least now, with support uh, from the governor, we have secured uh, executive chairs for the VIP waiting uh, room in the airport. We also secured some um, uh, plastic chairs to our passengers who will be traveling and coming from Juba. And at least it has changed the, 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 the face of the airport. At least now our VIPs can sit comfortable when traveling to, to Juba. And even when they are coming from Juba, they can sit at least comfortable because uh, of the furnitures, the executive furnitures that we have provided in the airport. Not only that, we also went with UNMIS. We discussed about the construction of terminal in Yambio Airport. We also discussed about extension of the runway uh, in Yambio Airport. Because the runway uh, currently in, in the airport in Yambio is very short. And for that reason, big planes cannot land here. So uh, we are now on discussion with UNMIS and also a partner uh, from Rwanda to see how we can construct this terminal and also how we can extend uh, this runway. So these are some of the projects in the state that we are, uh, we are running now and we are discussing about it. The Director of Civil Aviation in Western Equatoria, Michael Emmanuel, welcomed the support. I'm, I'm Michael Emmanuel, Jacob, the Director for Civil Aviation in Western Equatoria State Champion. Today I'm very grateful to, to receive our Minister, to receive our new furniture provided by her. Than, uh, which is already in the history because um, it has taken a number of years ago, but uh, we have not seen such a minister so who is very um, capable. And um, this is the um, first time for me to see that a minister come and uh, to visit us here in the airport to listen to our problems. And uh, she promised us, of course, has done it. Uh, thank you, Honorable Minister. So I've taken uh, about uh, 10 years here, mm -hmm. but I've not seen such uh, achievement. achievement in the airport here. And we hope the way I've seen her, she'll do more. 
because it has a good spirit. So she, she's a minister for development. We have seen her. So I've just come recently, but uh, th th there's a, a number of achievements. So as you can see, we have sofa chairs here provided by her. The plastic chairs here, uh, which have not been here before. Um, we have been sitting here on benches. Um, this airport is one of the busiest airports in the country. Um, according to the statistic, people can travel here more than 70. Um, in a day or a, a week. So um, we have been facing problems here. Um, how we can get our passengers seated. But now this is the solution to the problem. And also uh, recently we received team from uh, National Ministry of Roads and Bridges a team of engineers and then plus a main contractor plus two subcontractors. The national ministry came with this contractor to hand over the construction of uh, uh, Western Equatorial Highway that is Juba, Mundri, Maridi, Yambio, Tombura, Wau Road. And indeed uh, the National Minister have introduced the contractor to us as a state authority and also we had meeting with them. And indeed, if this highway is constructed, it will bring development to Western Equatoria and to South Sudan at large. Because Western Equatorial State is a food basket. Once this road is constructed, Western Equatoria alone can feed South Sudan, can feed Juba. Because if you can see now, most of the uh, produce are brought from Uganda. Things like tomatoes, things like uh, uh, potatoes, all these things are brought from Uganda. Yet in Western Equatoria here we are producing these things and they are, we are eating it very fresh. But there is no road that our farmers can transport this produce to Juba. But I think now with the construction of the highway, which is going to be tarmacked, uh, Yambio will feed uh, Juba with food, fresh food, because the food that is coming from Uganda, they are not fresh, the uh, fertilizers used to produce them. But in, in Yambio and in the whole of Western Equatoria, the food is produced very, very fresh. So uh, I would like to ask the contractor to, to speed up with the construction. Uh, of this highway to, to, to commence since the letter of commencement is already given to them so that we can begin to realize development in Western Equatorial State and also uh, in South Sudan because this will improve the revenue also and it can improve the economy of the country. So I really thank our president very much for putting uh, the, the, the highway of Western Equatoria into consideration. And I also appreciate all the sons and daughters of Western Equatoria who are working at the national government, uh, standing firm, lobbying for this to happen. The Minister of Roads and Bridges, Antuna, said the government is engaging partners to open feeder roads to enable farmers to bring their produce to the market. Indeed, uh, for the feeder roads, we are also uh, lobbying very hard and we are asking all the NGOs out there who are dealing with, with, with road construction to come and help us uh, in, construct, in constructing the feeder roads in Western Equatoria. We have, in the whole of Western Equatoria, we have 64 feeder roads in all the 10 counties of Western Equatoria. And all these feeder roads are is spoiled and the farmers find it very difficult to bring their produce to the market. 
the produce to access the market is very, very difficult. So most of this produce remain with the farmers in their houses and they consume it. And this also is affecting the economy of the state because the farmers cannot be able to bring their produce to the market because of the bad roads that we have in, in Western Equatorial. So uh, I'm appealing to the uh, NGOs who are supporting uh, agricultural feeder road uh, projects to come and help us in Western Equatorial so that we can open these access roads, the agricultural feeder roads, so that our farmers can access the market with the produce. Um, indeed, if we do like that as NGOs and companies that support uh, uh, road construction, at least uh, the economy can be improved and we can also improve the livelihood of our farmers. Because some farmers, they do cultivation in order to pay their children in school, in order to buy things in the house. So opening these feeder roads is very, very important uh, to support our farmers and also to motivate them. I also want to appreciate some NGOs, especially UNOPS. They have done a lot uh, in Western Equatoria, constructing Remense Road, James Diko, Gangora Road, and also Lirongo. But it's still in the 10 counties, as I said, we have 64 uh, feeder roads. Uh, we need uh, uh, these feeder roads to be constructed. We need more NGOs to, to, to join UNOPS in, in helping us uh, constructing these feeder roads. Especially there are roads like, uh, like Kediba, the road that is going to Kediba County headquarters. That road is very, very bad. That needs help of our partners, plus government of, uh, of Western Equatorial State. We also have the road that is going to Lakamadi. That one also needs uh, construction. We have the road that is going to Zara. We have the road that is going to uh, Bangolo. We have the road that is going to Kodopi. All these uh, feeder roads, they need to be constructed. So I'm appealing to our partners to, to come and support us uh, opening these feeder routes in order to support our farmers. Uh, in Western Equatoria, we are trying our level best, uh, though we have challenges. And of course, there is no work without challenge. The main challenge that we have in Western Equatoria is the issue of the money. There is no money in Western Equatoria. Things are very difficult. Even the OC, to get it is very difficult. And as we all know, uh, road project is most of the very expensive project in the country. And without the support of the government, without support of our partners, we, the Minister of Roads and Bridges, cannot be able to succeed. I would like to urge the government of Western Equatorial State at least to support this ministry so that uh, these feeder roads can be open. And then our NGOs, when they see that we are doing, then they can be able to support us. I thank the governor. He is really standing with us, uh, supporting us as a ministry. But we still need more to be done. Because without development in a road, there is no development. Road is number one. If we are able to construct uh, the feeder roads and also the highways constructed, development can be realized in Western Equatorial State. Because road is number one. If there is no road, and then partners and even contractors cannot access and investors, they cannot access us with development. But once the roads are constructed and the feeder roads are open, our investors can be able to access us freely. For the partners and investors outside there, uh, what is happening in Tombra is almost ending. So I'm encouraging our investors and companies and contractors who are out there and would want to come and do uh, uh, road construction in Western Equatoria. I'm welcoming all of you. Uh, you should come. Uh, 
we don't have much insecurity in, in Western Equatoria. The issue of Tombra is very soon ending, and uh, the government of Western Equatoria and national government is working on it very hard to ensure that uh, this uh, problem in Tombra ended so that development can prevail. As part of the airport extension, the minister said her ministry in collaboration with UNMIS is working on plans to extend and build a terminal at the airport. Yampio Airport is one of the busiest airports in South Sudan.